Sun. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, lived a miller who had three boys. Before the miller passed away, he divided his possessions among the boys. The older son inherited the mill, the middle son the donkey, and the youngest inherited his cat. Oh. <laughs> the small son was very upset at this. The cat is no use to me. What can I do with him? Don't be upset. One day you'll understand why I've done this. He's a very clever cat. Not long after that, the miller passed away and the three brothers received their father's inheritance. The younger son didn't even look at his cat. The cat got very upset when he saw his new master treated him with disdain. In no time you realize that you received the best inheritance. I will oh. prove it to you. Give me an empty sack, a hat and a pair of boots. The youngest brother was very surprised when he heard the cat talk. Since he was incredibly curious, he honored the cat's odd request. The cat set to work right away. He put the hat Ooh. on his head and wore the boots. He stood in front of the mirror and admired himself. How wonderful this hat and these boots are. They go well with my long yellow fur and my amazing green eyes. I look just like royalty. He set to work immediately. He packed fresh lettuce and carrots in a sack and headed to the forest. When he got there, he opened the sack and hid behind a tree. After a short time, a hungry rabbit that was hopping by sniffed the food and went inside the sack. The cat immediately grabbed the sack and held it shut as he ran straight to the palace. There were guards at the entrance of the palace. Stop right here! Who are you? You cannot enter here. I'm the servant of Lord Carabas. I need to see the king. I have brought a gift for the king from my majesty. It wasn't hard to convince the guards to let him in with his shiny boots and stylish hat. They took him before the king. Puss in Boots bowed his head before the king. He then took the rabbit out of the sack. Your Majesty, I brought you a gift from Lord Carabas, with my respects. Oh, a rabbit. Thank you very much. You can let your master know that I accept his gift. Over time, Puss in Boots gave the king many different gifts on behalf of Lord Carabas. <laughs> the king was intrigued and requested to meet this lord, who had offered him so many gifts. One day, the king, queen and their princess daughter, accompanied by Puss in Boots, set out on the road towards the lord's castle. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Puss in Boots ran ahead of them and went to his master to give him some instructions. Our king is definitely going to pass by the river. Go to the river and pretend that you're drowning. Shout for help as we pass by. I'm gonna hide your clothes too. What are you planning? What use is all of this to us? Don't be afraid, just do what I say. The confused young boy went to the river as the cat instructed and waited for them to arrive. There were a lot of farmers on sides of the road that led to the Lord's castle. The king will pass by here shortly. If he asks who this farm and land belong to, say that they belong to Lord Carabas, understood? If you don't, the king will get very angry and punish you. Of course, sir, whatever you wish. Puss in Boots warned all the farmers he encountered on the road. After doing so, Puss in Boots finally arrived at the castle where a mean giant with magical powers lived. Puss in Boots knocked on his door. Who is that? Who dares to disturb me? I'm the servant of Lord Carabas. My lord and the king will soon arrive at your castle. I'd like to go in so I can rest a little if you don't mind. Will you let me inside? Okay. Come on in. Once inside, the cat started chatting with the giant. I've heard that you have magical powers, but I don't believe it. Apparently, you can turn into any animal. Is this true? 
Of course I can. Why wouldn't you believe it? For instance, can he turn into a lion? That's easy. Rawr. There you go, I'm a lion now. The cat, ah. scared out of his wits, jumped on top of a cupboard. Okay, okay, wonderful. That was easy. But can you turn into a mouse? Nothing to it. Ah. Whoop. The giant turned into a tiny mouse. Puss in Boots caught him immediately and placed him in a small box. He returned to the forest to set the mouse free and headed towards the king. Welcome, Puss in Boots. Perfect timing. Let's head off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just as the king's horse-drawn carriage passed the river, they heard someone shouting. Help! Help! Help me! Soldiers, go help him! Someone's drowning in the river! The soldiers ran towards the young boy and fished him out of the water. The boy explained some thieves had stolen his clothes. The soldiers then got some fine clothes from the carriage and dressed him up. Your Majesty, may I present my master, Lord Carabas? I owe you my life, Your Majesty. Though the smallest brother didn't understand what was going on, he went along with Puss in Boots. Here's my beautiful wife, the Queen, and my beloved daughter, the Princess. Enchanted to meet you, Your Majesty. Come now, let's go to the castle. The youngest brother and the Princess fell in love at first sight. The Princess was a beautiful girl and the youngest brother, who was pretending to be Lord Carabas, was very handsome. As they continued on the road, the king asked the farmers he came across, Oh, whose land is this? Lord Carabas, my king! Lord Carabas, my king! Lord Carabas, my king! Lord Carabas, my king! The king was very pleased with everything he saw. Young lord, it seems that you are very powerful and loved around here. Puss in Boots' plan worked out perfectly. When they arrived at the castle, they treated themselves to a wonderful feast. By evening, the youngest brother had become Lord Carabas and had asked the king for his daughter's hand in marriage. I would like for my daughter to have a powerful, wealthy, clever and respectable husband like you. If my daughter accepts, you may have her hand in marriage. Not long after that, the princess and Lord Carabas got married. They lived happily ever after in their castle. Puss in Boots never left their side. Oh father, now I know what you meant. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondasan and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.